So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and joining me here, our expert Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Starting lineups. making a difference here. Julio Cesar's the man. Just keep an eye out for his kicking and general distribution. It's seriously good, and he can get his team on the front foot very quickly through that accurate passing. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Eliseu. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Jonas, he is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again. This is quite a run and he's not done yet. Another chance from a corner. was tough for the keeper to handle. No change to the score, nil-nil it remains. And he's gone for it! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. And it's shown us. And it's so. So what now? Jonas. Now it's Petroglu. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Now it's Jonas. Petroglu. Kola. Salvia. A goal now would certainly liven things up. Kola. Looks like a good ball through. And the half-time whistle goes. Reflections on the first half. I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Second half gets on the way. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Plays it out to the flank. Played out wide. Goes for goal! That really should have hit the net. I think when you're in front of the goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. A 
and Asu. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Luisao. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals wise. That'll be a throw in. Intercepts the throw. That's well read. And it's Mitroglu. Nil-nil the score, and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. Forward it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Jonas. Eliseu. Be a throw in. Benfica look as though they're about to make a change. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Oh, didn't catch it right. Well, the defender was stuck to him like glue, but he got his effort away. It wasn't quite enough, though. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. And it's Mitroglu. Salvio. Mitroglu. Unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. That's a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Now it's Jonas. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be... A cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. That's the throw. Tarat. Balls out, it'll be a throw in again. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. And shows there will be three extra minutes. Going for goal! And there goes the final whistle. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim? Look, a draw shows a level of industry from both sides here. On that alone, I think it's been quite an interesting encounter, actually. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.